in today's video, we're going to be tying a balanced leech. So the idea behind this fly is that when this fly hangs in the water, it hangs horizontally, which is kind of how a leech would swim. And it does that by extending out past the eye of the hook there with a little pin and a bead. You always want to tie this fly on an open loop knot. That way it could just kind of dangle there in the water column. So the first thing we're going to do is start off with the Eric, Eric's size 8 551 hook. Uh, any type of jig hook will really work for this. Uh, some of the longer shank jig hooks uh, honestly are better because you can get a longer leech out of it. Um, but this is kind of what I had. And by the time you put the post on, uh, honestly, it's plenty long enough for a leech. So the first material we're going to tie on here is some 6 odd. You need this olive thread. Now the next part is the extended post here. For that, we're going to use a little sequin pin. You can use a small nail, small tack, and we're also going to take a bead. This one's a 5 30 seconds. You can also use a 7 64 if you're using tungsten. Um, it kind of depends on how far you're going to extend out past your, your hook uh, and how long the overall leech is. But uh, 5 30 seconds with the pin uh, usually works for most of these leeches. And this pin is about 3 quarter inch long in total. So I'm just going to take this pin and I'm going to tie it on right on top of the shank of the hook. I want that bead to extend out oh, about a third of the way past the eye of that jig hook. And you can wrap up onto the sequin pin. Just lay down your thread base and then jump down to the body again. And the other thing you do, if you don't like that point, you can trim it off with a pair of pliers too. Um, usually I'm in a hurry trying to crank these out um, and it all just kind of gets covered up with marabou and everything anyway, so it doesn't much really matter. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our marabou, we're gonna be tying this color, or this one in olive color, but you can tie them in infinite number of colors, black, purple, all those will work. So I'm using just a blood quill marabou. I'm just using a single one. I like the tail of my leeches to be sparse. If you tie these things too bulky, um, they really don't slim down the water and look like a leech. So uh, we want our tail to be the length of our pin and hook combined. So about one and a half times probably the length of the shank of the hook. Just make sure that's plenty secure. And the next thing to do is add a little bit of flash. I'm going to be using some micro flashaboo. Regular flashaboo works just fine. Micro is just a little thinner, a little more supple, just moves in the water a little better. So I kind of like the micro stuff. So I'm going to take two strands, tie those in on each side here, just right next to the hook. And we trim those just a smidge longer than the marabou tail. Now, the next material that we're going to use is some Arizona semi seal dubbing. This one's a gray olive, but I tie them in dark olive as well. This is really cool stuff, has a little bit of flash, has some really long, kind of stringy mohair fibers in there too. Um, and that's really the key to tying these leeches is kind of you want that halo effect with your leeches. So we're going to make this in a dubbing loop. So I'm just going to loop my thread, wrap back on it, and I'm going to take my thread all the way up onto the pin to the bead. And I like to use a dubbing spinner. I use a CNF one. It's got a little ball bearing in it. And we're going to take our dubbing and just spread it on the inside of this loop. And you want to spread it as evenly as you can, because if you don't, you'll get all these lumps and kind of bumps in your dubbing rope when it's all finished, and it kind of 
makes it harder to wrap onto the body evenly. So just try to spread it out as evenly as you can. This is honestly the hardest part of the fly is getting all these wonky fibers to sit the way you want. After you get it all spun up, it's pretty easy after that. All right, got them where I want them. And then we just start spinning. You can do small adjustments, mid-spin, just if you do them carefully. Once you have a nice tight rope going there, I just transfer them onto a hackle plier. There's always a few pieces of marabou that get stuck in there too. I never really worry too much about it. It'll all just kind of work its way out once we start wrapping. And we're just going to take this dubbing rope and we're going to wrap it around the body. Now it'll look kind of tight when we're wrapping, that's okay. We're gonna pick all that out with a nice abrasive brush here at the end. Then you wanna jump to that pin and you wanna make sure that you kind of cover up because the pin is so much thinner than your hook. So you kind of wanna wrap kind of around the eye, but not too much where you cover the eye. You just wrap kind of around that eye and jump onto the pin. There we go. And you can just capture all that dubbing. Make sure it's secure. Trim it out of there. At this point, you're ready to whip finish. Got this new loom whip finisher too that has this little cutter on the bottom of the whip finish. It's kind of handy because I don't have to get my scissor out again. Now, it looks pretty tight bodied there. The look we're going for is kind of this, this halo effect. So what I like to use is a stiff wire brush. Go to the hardware store, or they, they do sell them fly tying versions too, but I like the wire ones for this fly, not the plastic or synthetic ones. Cause I really want to pick out this, this dubbing really aggressively. I don't want to see any of that dubbing rope at all if I can get away with it. I want it just to be this shaggy, scraggly looking leech. And I kind of stroke it in all which ways. And you don't want to really do it rough because if you do it too rough, you'll end up yanking everything. So I'm kind of, I'm going aggressive, but I'm not like really digging down into that material. And once you kind of have it all scraggly, stroke all those fibers back. And that is a finished balanced leech. You can see that little hook eye right there. And that's of course where you're gonna tie your tippet.